hi guys welcome back to another beautiful tutorial my name is Bolaji and this is Reggie School of Fashion in my last video I showed you guys a step-by-step -step of how to draft a wrap kimono jacket with sleeve and in case you missed that video you can check it out in the description box below this video so guys in today's video I will be walking you through the process of putting this together to make a beautiful kimono wrap jacket just like the one you are seeing on your screen right now if this sound interesting to you smash the subscribe button now to subscribe to my channel see you in class Now these are the pieces I cut out to make a beautiful kimono jacket. I have three pieces for the back. This is the first piece, the second piece and the center piece. Then for the front I have four pieces because the center front is opened. So this is the first piece, the second piece, this is the third piece and this is the fourth piece. And also I cut out the two sleeves. So this is the sleeve for both hands. So the same way I cut out the fabric, I cut out the lining as well. I have three pieces for the back and four pieces for the front. Now I will be joining these pieces together. I have one piece of this and one piece of the side. This is the center and this is the side. So one piece of the center and one piece of the side, I will be joining the two together because this is the part I cut out the dart. So I will stitch this from the shoulder to the hem line. Also, the second pieces, this is the center piece and this is the side piece. So which means I have two pieces for the center and two pieces for the side. That is for the front panel. Then for the back, I have two pieces for the side. So this is the side and I have one piece for the center. So I, I will be attaching one side to one side of the center and the other side to the other side of the center. So can you see what I have? And of course, I will be applying the same method on the lining. So this is the front piece the side and the center the second side the front the side and the center and also the back so can you see i cut out three pieces for the back as well so i'll be doing this off the camera and i'll be back to show you the results so guys, I've joined the pieces together and this is what I have after joining, as you can see. So this is a dart point for the back and for the front. I also joined the lining together the same way I joined the fabric. So this is the back and this is what I have for the front. So the next step is to join the sides together. I will be joining the front and the back sides together, right side facing each other. So I'll be joining this by the side and also the other side as well. As I'm joining the fabric, I'll be joining the lining at the same time. Okay, so I will join the two sides and I will also join the shoulder together. So this is the shoulder for the front, for the back. I'll be joining the two together with my half of an inch seam allowance. So guys, I'm back and this is what I have after joining the pieces together. So this is a fabric and this is a lining. So I opened up the seam by ironing. I gave it a press in order to make the seam allowance stay flat and neat. And I repeat the same process. I repeated the same process on the lining as well. Can you see what I have? So I opened up all the seam allowances on the wrong side so the next step is to join the fabric and the lining together and the positioning is the wrong side of the lining facing the wrong side of the fabric like so 
Okay, so after positioning the lining and the fabric together like so, then I'll be stitching with half of my seam allowance. The seam allowance I have all around this fabric is half of an inch. Half of an inch on the lining and half of an inch on the fabric. So which means I will be stitching with one quarter of an inch all around the fabric. So I have the sample here which I've done. So can you see what I have? I stitch with quarter of an inch. So I will be completing the stitching all around the fabric to the hemline. Also, when I get to the hemline, I'm taking it straight down from hedge to hedge with quarter of an inch. So guys, I'm back again and I've joined the lining and the fabric together. So this is what I have after joining. You can see the inside of the jacket is looking neat and the outside is looking neat as well. Now the next step is to tape the jacket all around. And I will start by taking the measurement I have all around the jacket at the center front opening. I took the measurement at the center front opening from the M line all around. Like so. So this is 80 inches my measuring tape is 80 inches in length and i will note the point then continue taking the measurement from this point so which i have extra 10.5 inches so that is 90.5 so with this measurement i cut out the taping i will be using in finishing the neckline at the center front opening so this is what i cut out i cut out as long as possible i have up to 100 inches or more on this so that i will not have a shortage after attaching this this is the taping i cut out for the front opening and i measured more than what i measured on the fabric so this what i have here is more than 100 inches what i have on the opening measurement is about 90 0.5 inches so here i cut more than 90.5 i have more than 100 inches so that i will not have shortage after attaching also this is on fold the measurement i used is 2.5 inches i want the taping to be three inches wide so i used three inches purposely because when i was shaping the center front of the jacket i measured three inches as my neck width so the three inches I cut out from the neck point is what I'm replacing back with this fabric. This is taffeta and I fuse it with a very soft fusible interfacing. So I'm using three inches for taping and I added half of an inch as seam allowance, as joining allowance. So with this, I have 3.5 inches on fold. If I open it, I have seven inches on fold. I have 3.5 inches so the alignment goes thus the right side of the taping facing the right side of the fabric and I will attach this all around the jacket So after pinning together, this is what I have. Can you see? This is the right side and this is what I have on the wrong side. So after stitching the two together, then I will finish the inside like so. I will push in the seam allowance, then cover this up with the seam allowance. And I will fold in my half of an inch. I have extra on the taping. 
all the way around and I'll be finishing the edges. So this can be finished in different ways. You can apply a blind stitches if you have the function on your sewing machine or you can apply this manually if you don't have the function on your sewing machine. So which means you'll be finishing the inside with needle and thread using a blind stitches. And again, you can use an hemming tape if you don't want to apply a blind stitches, but make sure it is a quality one that will last longer. So with this, the inside of the jacket will be looking neat and the outside will be looking neat as well. So can you see what I have? So I'll be doing this and I'll be back to show you the results. So guys, this is what I have after finishing the center front. And like, as you can see, the inside of the jacket is looking neat and also the outside. So the next step is to finish the hemline. So I will be doing this the same way I finish the center opening. So I'll be finishing the hem line with this fabric and I'll attach it and also finish the edges. So after which I will attach my sleeve. It is a basic sleeve. I'll be attaching the sleeve all around the arm hole. And also the hem line of the sleeve will be finished with this taping. So I'll be doing all this off the camera and I'll be back to show you the final result of a beautiful jacket. So guys, this is the final look of a beautiful kimono wrap jacket. As you can see, it is looking beautiful. It really comes out well and I love it. So this is the center opening. This is the overlap. After putting on the dress, the placket will overlap like so. So this is the sleeve part and this is the taping we have on the M line on the sleeve. Also, this is the M line of the jacket. This is the taping we have at the M line. I love the jacket, it's looking beautiful and neat. This is the back of the jacket. So this is the back and this is the front. Thanks so much for watching this video to the end. If you find this video helpful in one way or the other, kindly give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so so that you won't miss out anytime I drop a new video. Till we meet next time when I'll be dropping another valuable content from my wealth of knowledge. Always do remember, there is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs.